In this video, we're going to walk through the process of adding partials to an existing partial map. The scenario starts off with a developer who's providing you with partials for a brand new subdivision. Those partials don't yet exist in your current county partial map. So we're going to actually show temporarily adding those partials from the developer to the map. And then we're going to add some assets to the map, then remove those temporary parcels, and then finally add the updated parcels to the parcel map. So we're going to start off by adding the uh, parcels from the developer. So first I'm going to click on the add data option at the top, select that, and then we'll go and find where those are at. So I've got that on a folder here. So we've got our, our CAD file and out of that I'm going to select a parcel. So um, Esri is going to give us some default symbology, so I'm going to go and change that. So I click on the, uh, the symbol right here. And I've got some favorites set up. I've got one called Parcel Blue. And I wanted that to stand out from the parcels that are below. So the ones in blue are the temporary ones from the developer. The ones in gray below are from the county parcel map. Those ones also have the house numbers on them as well. So keep that in mind. So I'm going to stop for a second and then I'm going to add uh, the assets to the map and then we will continue on after that to get the county parcels. All right, now we're back with the assets added to the map. So I just have some transformers, meters, and wires. Uh, there's other assets, but just to keep this simple, I added just a limited set of the possible assets available. So the next thing I'm going to do is actually to remove the developer provided parcel map. So it's located right here. So I'm going to right click on that and just say remove. So now you've noticed that the blue lines are gone. And so the next step in the process then is to import the ones from an updated county map. So I'm just going to go to the catalog pane here. I'm going to right click on our SDE and then I'm going to select import and feature class. And so the next step is to find where that's at. And so I'm going to click on the Browse button. And I have uh, an already provided file geodatabase from the, uh, the county. That's the most common format that you're going to find is probably uh, a file geodatabase. At least that's what we normally run into. So I went through the process, found the GDB file. There's a parcels um, file or a table within that. And so I'm going to go and grab that. And then it wants a name, and I'm just going to call this new parcels. And then I'm just going to click on run to perform the import. So now the new parcel map from the county has been added to the map. And you can see it, it's again using default symbology that Esri provides automatically. Um, and what we want to do is just take the portion that is the brand new parcels and add it to the existing uh, parcel map that we already have. So why would we do that? Uh, you could just import the entire brand new parcel map. That would be perfectly fine. Um, but I have some existing symbology that I want to maintain. So to make this a little bit easier for myself, I'm just going to go and grab just the new parcels. So I'm going to go and click on the select button and I'm going to go create a rectangle around just those particular parcels. And um, in the attribute tab, I'm going to go and just make sure I have just the parcel selected. So I went and right clicked on that heading section and, and I'm gonna say only select this. So all that did was it removed uh, all of the other features that I had selected that weren't parcels. So now all I have to do is go and to the upper left hand corner and click the copy button up here. So we're gonna copy those parcels to the clipboard and then I'm going to go and select paste uh, special, if you click on that little arrow button, you get a pop-up menu. And so I'm going to select that. And it's going to ask me what layer to paste those parcels into. So uh, the Dane County parcel layer is exactly where I want to go. You might have to click this arrow here and select the parcel uh, in case it doesn't do it by default. So uh, it already has what we want. So I'm going to click on the OK button. And so it's going to then copy and paste into our previous parcel layer, all those new parcels. Um, and then what I'm going to do is go back to the contents layer, and then I'm going to remove the new parcels uh, layer. So that's gone and out of the way. And that's going to just leave um, the, the brand new ones that we just pulled in. 
and you can see that now it's adopted that same symbology that we have, the gray lines with the uh, house number put directly on it. And that's all there is to it. The new parcels have been transferred from the latest county map to your parcel map. So you have all the additions from the developer that are now permanently part of your system map.